This week on TGC News, like your wife, Sid keeps bringing up old shit. Lone Wolf makes a Glock clone, Faxon has a 1022 clone, and a freaking YouTuber has a gun company. Welcome back to another episode of the Gun Collective News, the only gun news show that covers things that you actually care about. My name is John Patton, and we are on location at the Dangerous Freedom Studios here in Colorado. I've got my good friend Sean Heron behind the camera, the host of Dangerous Freedom on YouTube, and he is sort of chomping at the bit back there, right? Something like that? I said I didn't want to do this. Anyway, he is going to jump in and help me tackle the news. Are you ready? No? Top sh here we go. First up this week, Daddy Warbucks, aka Six Hour, has released a new Custom Works version of their P210 carry pistol. This adds to the P210 target in the lineup and is currently the only version of the carry size P210 available. The one they released back in 2022 seems to only exist in YouTube reviews, so that indicates that it's either dead or being redone. That said, this Custom Works version of the gun has three eight round mags, a 4.1 inch barrel, a polished slide with some really ugly engraving, Caribbean rosewood grips, and a nickel trigger. Minus the engraving, I actually think it's beautiful. I love the sort of modernized versions of classic guns, and I really do love the grips on this thing. The thing that comes to mind with guns like this is that it's essentially a German 1911, having been originally released in 1949, and that makes the single stack eight round mag design more of a range toy than something I actually consider carrying. And as per usual with SIG, there's no pricing on the website, but I was able to locate the MSRP, which is a pallet of candy wrappers. Not the candy, just the wrappers. Sound off in the comments if you'd actually carry one over the plethora of other options out there. You know what I would carry though? My Vertex bags. In fact, the only bags I travel with anymore are Vertex. They are well thought out and have actual users in mind rather than shoving a bunch of crap you don't need into the bags. I'm especially enjoying the stackable storage bags for my vehicle storage solution. And if you use our code TGC at Vertex.com, not only will you get a discount of at least 15%, but you'll also be supporting us and helping us bring the news to you every single week. That code is TGC at Vertex.com. You guys uh, ready to meet the new guy? <laughs> hey, Sean, uh, get over here. Yes, get over here right now. Get in there. Lone Wolf Distributing, I mean, Lone Wolf Arms, has introduced the Dusk 19. This Glock 19 clone looks like a much more refined design than their previous LTD models that look like they were cooked up by a 14-year-old COD player all hopped up on Logan Paul's juice. The Dusk 19 looks like it was designed by an adult who actually shoots. It has a textured gas pedal, nice grip texture, replaceable back straps, an optics ready slide, and you'll be looking down some night vision tritium sights. For you fashionistas, there are several slide and frame colors and coating options. Lone Wolf continues to try to reinvent themselves with the lessons they've learned in years of making aftermarket accessories. Oh, and one last thing, it appears to only come with one magazine. Are you f Kidding I'm me. serious, I saw Dude, it. What the I f why are companies doing this? Oh my crap? god! It popped into the market at about 650 retail, which means that the reigning champ of the Glock clone space, the PSA Dagger, is half the price. Start a fight in the comments. Faxon is back in the news with a new version of the FX22 rifle. If you couldn't tell, this is a 1022 clone. I'll run down the basics 16 inch fluted barrel, Faxon's own receiver setup with a pick rail on top, a Ruger BX22 trigger. And the MSRP lands on this at 1,400 credits for the rifle version and 1,200 for the no one's going to buy this version. What I find absolutely fascinating is that you can buy essentially the same gun from Grey Birch swapped with a carbon barrel for 100 bucks less than the Faxon and the steel barrel version at an MSRP of a grand. I would much rather have that one over the Faxon pretty much any day of the week. Not only that, but you can acquire virtually the same gun at Brownells for around 12 hundo. For only slightly more dollars, you get into the sort of more affordable end of Volkortsen rifles, and those, to me, are the sort of cream of the crop. I'd love to hear what Sean thinks about this one. Oh, actually, I don't give a about 22. C come on. No, it's dumb. Now, if you've been on the internet for even five minutes, you're 
you're going to be familiar with the founder of the next company. From the backwoods of Georgia, a longtime friend of ours has launched a new gun company, Argos Ordnance. The man behind it all is Chad from Iraq Veteran 8888. The A115 line of rifles is starting off with three different models. The 16-inch carbine, the 18-inch SPR, and their factory SBR at 11 and a half inches. On the surface, they look like many of their counterparts, but once you dig in, you see the result of the breadth of Chad's experience. The rifles come standard with a rifle speed gas system, which are fantastic, a Geisley trigger, and tons of other premium parts. Now some paid upgrades include Centurion Arms barrels and solid pin gas blocks, amongst other things. Suppressors are also coming very soon. The rifles come with a sub MOA guarantee and start at around 1,849 ducats. As Eric and Chad are two of John's oldest gun industry friends, he was one of the first in line to get one of the SPR variants. Woo. Me, on the other hand, still waiting for my TGC check to clear so that I can afford it. And you can keep f***ing waiting. And speaking of checks, it would be rad if you helped us keep the show going by using our code TGC at Vertex.com. Alright, 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 get the hell out of here, you're doing too good at this. Next up this week, the end. Get out! Bye!